What up, it's me A to Z, and we're back with more Pokemon Black. Last time, we arrived at the very quiet, very ambient resort town of Undella. You notice it's a little bit quiet because it's not summertime. But anyway, yeah, we went up through Route 14 after leaving Black City, talked about a bunch of the new Pokemon we can catch. Again, we're at the end of the game, so it's not super recommendable that you catch anything for your team at this point because you should have your set team. But, yep, here we are, quiet Undella Town. This place is normally a bustling, bustling uh, resort town during the summer, but we got here a little bit too late because it is autumn time now. Anyway, let's talk to you really quick. The sea, it's a source of life. The sea, it's a lot of water. So teach this move to your Pokemon and you can dive into the sea. And we get HM06 Dive. The HM for Dive has finally returned after his absence in uh, Diamond Pearl Platinum. And it's HM06. The darkest parts of the sea are called diving points. And if you use dive there, you can dive all the way to the bottom of the sea. So I'm going to teach dive to a Pokemon because believe it or not, we are going to be doing some diving today. And I'm going to teach it to, let's see, here we go, HM06 Dive. It's a two-turn move, so again, it's not great for battle viability. But I'm going to be teaching it to this Golduck that I caught off screen. Yep, I have uh, Box Jonathan because I don't want to teach Jonathan Dive. Also, we are going to need Surf, so this Golduck knows Surf. Going to get rid of Psych Up. And I give uh, Golduck Strength just for the sake of it. So Golduck is going to be our HM Slave of sorts. But yeah, I caught a Golduck for that purpose. I didn't want to teach Jonathan all these HMs that we don't need. But as I was saying, uh, if we check out these little villas here, they're empty. Normally they'd be filled with people during the summertime, but again, we were a little bit too late to the boat. It's a little bit sad if you think about it, because we got here during the autumn time, summer's over. Even though it's we're well in the middle of summer at the time of recording this, it is July. And of course this villa is empty. Now, let me warn you. You see this villa? Don't go in here. Odds are you are not prepared to handle what is inside this villa, so do not go in there. I'm just gonna flat out warn you, don't go in there yet. But speaking of villas, we've got ourselves a hell of a villa right over here. Like a, It's like a half mansion over here. We've got, oh, this big villa belongs to the riches. How fitting, because they're rich. Anyway, let's talk to you. You have an extremely bored look on your face. Okay, I'll let you have a very exciting Pokemon battle with me. All right, sure, kid. So this is an interesting little mechanic. As you'll see, we have the richest Draco. And he's got a Buizel. A very weak Buizel that's not going to be able to stand up to Kevin. So as you'll notice, Kevin's level 68. I said I was going to do off-screen training in between episodes. Oh lord, have I. I have leveled up the team well into their mid-60s at this point because we do kind of need it. Jonathan is caught up as well, don't worry. Just because I have him boxed doesn't mean I've forgotten about him. Anyway, Kevin's up to level 69. And that'll do it. But you're just so relaxed. How could you win against a busy person like me? Oh, also, this is a great trainer to uh, put your amulet coin on. I will let you see a very special thing, so follow me. Oh, man. Any, any of you guys ever had that one rich friend back in school who, you know, you were just, you were so lucky if you got to visit his, uh, his gigantic mansion? I don't think I ever really had that as a kid. I never really had any rich friends. It wasn't really until high school where I was, you know, where I had rich friends because I was, <laughs> never mind. Not going to go into detail. This is my dad's villa and I can use it freely. But when I came here, surprisingly, there was nothing to do, so now I'm bored. As you may know, my dad's my dad is totally obsessed with items at the runes. Hey, you're bored, aren't you? Come here tomorrow, too. I don't mind having a battle with you. So this is something that you can do. If you come back to the Riches Villa every day, you can battle Draco, and you can actually battle other members of the Riches family. So this is a good place to train, and they get progressively stronger, so don't think that it's just going to be, you know, Draco with his weak little weasel. Anyway, if we talk to this guy... As you can see, I am an ultra-rich billionaire, and as you can see, my hobby is to collect rare items. In fact, this outfit is ultra-expensive and rare. Literally just looks like you're wearing a karate gi. <laughs> so if it's if this is okay, an expensive karate I don't know. There's something that this billionaire wants to get his hands on, even if it means spending a lot of money. Do you have such a rare item? Grr, you don't, do you? So remember this guy, because this guy is actually linked to something that we're going to be doing today. And it has something to do with Undella Town. Anyway, I do want to mention, for those of you who have played Black and White 2, you'll remember that this massive villa is gone. Which is unfortunate. The riches must have moved somewhere else. I don't know, maybe they moved to Kalos. That, that place is full of rich people, right? Ooh, item over here. What is this? A big nugget. Ooh! Jeez, speaking of riches. <laughs> Alright, so, the agenda for today. It's not going to be that long of an episode. Our business is really going to be just here in Undella Town. We are not going to head north to the next route. We are instead going to head east to Undella Bay. 
And I'm gonna slap up a repel because we are gonna be surfing. Uh, here are my repels. Perfect. Oh, I gotta restock on repels at some point. I'm surprised I didn't do it in between recording sessions. It has been a bit of a while since I've recorded. It's been about two weeks. I know, I'm sorry. But, as you'll see, we have a dark spot over here. It's a deep part of the sea. Would you like to use dive? Welcome to the Abyssal Runes. I just wanted to be quiet there for a little bit because I wanted you to hear the gorgeous, gorgeous music that plays once you enter. It's so ambient. Now, oh, the sound reverberates. So basically what this means is that you can't stay down here forever. There is a bit of a timer. And there are cryptic, cryptic uh, writings over here. Basically, this place is for you to scour and explore and get as many treasures as possible. This first floor is a bit of a maze. I will just say that. I'm just trying to remember because I know there... Uh-oh. A dull sound came from far away. So the more you travel in here, you'll notice once we... Hang on, where are the items now? Because I'm going to feel really bad if I... There we go. So in this first floor, because there are multiple floors, you'll see we got a flame plate. In this first floor, you can actually pick up all of the plates. If you're quick enough, because there is a step limit, as you will see sooner or later. But over here, we're going to have the Iron Plate. So these plates will boost the uh, effectiveness of your type moves. So Iron Plate boosts Fire Type moves. Uh, Flame Plate boosts Fire Type. Relic Silver is a selling item, so there's going to be selling items here as well. But as you'll know, these plates have relevance to a certain mythical Pokémon that just happens to be God of this universe. Here we got a Relic Statue, which is another selling item. Uh, let's see, we're gonna have more plates here. But yeah, as you'll know, these plates are linked- Oh, now this is getting louder. The dull sound echoed. Here we got the Relic Gold. It's- I'll tell you this, it's impossible to get all of the plates on a single run. Because this place is so expansive. We got a Relic Vase, or Vase. But yeah, as I was saying, I cannot finish this tangent. You'll notice these plates are linked to a certain mythical Pokémon that just happens to be God of this universe, Arceus. Or Arceus. I call him Arceus. I, I know, that's not how it's supposed to be pronounced. Anyway, we got a Toxic Plate, good for Poison type moves. Really, the only plate that we've gotten is useful to us is the is the Flame Plate for Kevin. Uh, this will be an Earth Plate. Ooh, that might be useful for Tony. I don't know. I think- oh, now it's getting louder. The dull sound is close. So that is effectively our timer. Anyway, and as I said here, these uh, pink slabs here are just some, uh, oof, they're really cryptic writings, and you can't really tell what letter there are. There is a translation out there, so I guess maybe future me will, uh, you know, try and translate what some of these things are saying. Oh, it's a torrent of water. Once that torrent of water hits, it kicks you out instantly. Anyway, let's uh, dive further, let's dive back down here again, because there is more I want to talk about with this place. So the writings here, basically, they tell the story of a king. But you have to, like, explore the entire thing and just, you know, um... <laughs> sorry. You have to explore the entire thing and just... up. Oh, there we go. The sound reverberates. So we're trapped in here and we have to get through. So there is... Blah! There is a, you know, a path that you can take that will get you to the next floor really, really quickly. Now, I don't remember what it is. Because remember, this is a bit of a maze. Hmm. I think you have to get through it in less than 190 steps. Oh, there we go. A dull sound. Right when I'm in front of the dread plate. Another good item for Tony. Okay. Now, I, there is, I could just whip out a map on my phone and, you know, I'm probably gonna end up doing that the third time around because there's no way in hell I'm gonna make it to the end of it this time at the rate things. Yeah, there's no way. So I'm probably gonna start, like, consulting a map <laughs> once I get booted out of here again. Because trust me, this place, it is a massive maze, and you will get lost, and it is impossible to get all the items in one singular run. Alright, this is probably going to be a mind plate. Too bad we don't have a psychic type. And now the uh, sound is going to start getting closer. How did I know? <laughs> I, again, I don't remember the exact step uh, limit that you have. I just know that you want to get to the middle in 190 steps. That's all I remember of it. Hmm. I'm probably going the wrong way now because I feel like I'm looping around and I've been here before. Oh, what about what do we have here? A relic copper. All right. So these items that we are getting here, these are actually items that you want to sell to that black belt guy over at the Rich's Villa. All right. Let's see if I can. Oh no, we're starting to run out of time. 
Starting to run out of time this run. All right, let me just down the wrong way. Another, uh, another un undecipherable thing. The thing is, like, these letters, they're- Oh, come on! I was right in front of them! Ah! Ridiculous. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna meet you guys, um, once I get back into the Relic Castle- the Relic Castle. Freaking the Abyssal Runes. And once I actually make it to where I need to go. So I'll meet you guys over there. There we go. Again, sorry I was really quiet because I just have to like study the map. It looks like I can climb up here. There we go. So here is the second floor now of the Abyssal Runes, and this is where a lot more treasure is. It's a lot smaller, all things considered, this uh, second floor. And I just gotta remember how to proceed here. Because I because there is like a final floor that you know that you can actually get through. I'm just trying to remember how you do it though. Hmm. Okay, that's where I came through. God, I don't remember. This is a little bit tricky. Okay. You know what? Let me just get this item over here. There we go. Now we're going to start really getting some selling items. Oof. This is tricky. So, again, excuse me if I'm quiet. I just need to remember where to go. Which one was it? Maybe it's this one. Maybe we got to go up here. No. Probably not. That's not it. Okay. Well, then here's an item over here. A relic gold. Maybe it's just when you get all the items that it lets you go through. I really don't remember. I, I don't think I've even ever... Oh, crap. Oh, crap. A dull sound echo. Crap. Maybe you don't have to get all the items here. Okay. No, that's not it. Oh, shoot. Hmm. I don't remember. Okay, let's just grab this while I'm at it. This is gonna be a relic band. So, these are these all get, like, you know, progressively more and more... Wor uh, no, not worthy. Okay, is this it? No. Shit, which one is it? I seriously don't remember which one I have to go through. No, that's not it. Come on. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get booted out right now. I'm totally gonna get booted out. I'm, I'm not gonna make it. Ah, oh, jeez. Again, I think I've only gotten to this point. I've never made it to the top of the of the relic of the abyssal runes. I've never made it to the end of it. Like this is all. This is really. This is blind for me. This is honestly. Uh, this is blind. Okay. Is this the next part? No, it's not. I'm probably gonna get booted out right now. I'm not gonna make it. I'll just meet you guys once I, you know, actually make it to the end. Alright, so I'm kind of an idiot. I think what you have to do is that one of these pillars, you have to use Flash. So I taught Carmine Flash, I just don't remember which pillar. Nah, I can't, hang on. It tells you, like, these pillars tell you to use Flash, but again, it's just the most cryptic thing. God, okay. Uh, this is not, this one's not it. Maybe it's... Hang on, I'm trying to remember which one it is. Maybe it's this one? No. Maybe it's this one? Or my flash? No. Shit, which one was it? Okay. Maybe what it is, it's in a one up here. It says it's like to the west. Again, I'm kind I'm using a guide for this because this is pretty much blind. I've never actually done this thing. God, which one do I go now? Hang on. Maybe I have to like go up. Yeah, that's probably what I have to do. I have to like go up. Shit, I'm running out of time. Okay. 
No, that's not the way I want to go. Shit. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. I'm not like uh, co coherently commentating. I just really want to make it this, and I want to I want to show you guys this. You know, why not go through this effort? Hang on. Let's set a dead end path on the west. No, not here. Not here. Maybe through here. I'm gonna run out of time though. That's what I'm worried about. Maybe this is it. No, shoot. Running out of time. Running out of time. Maybe this is the one. I seriously don't know which is the one. No, this is not the one. I'm, I'm out of time. I'm out of time. I'm done. Goodbye. Whatever. Go ahead. Boot me out. I'll, you know what I'll do? You know what I'll do? I'll just cut away, and then I'll meet you guys at the point where I actually make it to that one. Because I just know you have to use Flash in one of these pillars. That's what I know. So I'll meet you guys once I do it. There we go, I did it right. Perfect. So now we go through here. Alright, and now for the third floor. And I did my research here. For the third floor, what you want to do is you want to use strength. So it's a good thing I taught Goldbuck strength. Alright, there's not that much left to it. Let's see if I can pick this up. Get a relic. Silver, sweet. Okay. We're almost at the end of this, guys. I know. Hang on. No, almost, almost. We'll be a little bit further up. Sorry guys, I really like need to look at this map to make sure I'm doing this right. Okay, here's the block. And then we go ahead and we use strength on our gold duck. There we go. All right, a lot of this is getting cut out. So I mean, the record is like at 20 something minutes, 21 minutes, but we're not, you're not gonna see all this. All right, proceed to the upper floor. There we go, we did it. I have never been here before. I have never been at this part before. Oh geez, we're at, like, we're right about to get booted out right now. But it's fine, because we have the Relic Crown. This is a very, very lucrative item right here that you can sell for a crap ton of money to that guy. I'm just gonna wear out my steps at this point. Unless we can leave. Yeah, we can, but nah, it's not worth it. Whatever, let's just go ahead and run out my steps. Alright, well, that was the Abyssal Runes. Funny enough, that ended up taking quite a bit of time. I don't know, this episode might be like no more than 15 minutes, to be perfectly honest. Alright, I'm gonna be lazy and I'm just gonna fly my way back to Undela Town. I don't wanna risk. <laughs> I don't want to risk running into any wild Pokemon, to be perfectly honest. But before we before we end it off, I'm actually going to go ahead and talk to, um, I'm going to talk to our buddy Mr. Riches. You know, because why not? Let's show him all that expensive stuff that we found while diving underneath in these mysterious runes. So once we go back in here, talk to our dear black belt friend who apparently has an ex extremely expensive karate gi. A rare treasure, a relic crown, I was told was in the most innermost part of the abyssal runes. I think it's understandable that you want to treasure it, but will you sell it to me for 300,000? Yes! 300,000! Also, I should mention... Hold on, uh, do you have such a rare item, do you? Okay, well I guess I can just show him the rest of my relic stuff. Let's give him my relic bands. But as you can see, look at our money total. We have more of a 999,999. Yeah, they expanded the money limit now by one extra digit, so you can now have up to 10 million dollars instead of 1 million as your maximum. So let's just sell these relic bands. Well, we'll probably sell the rest of them to him uh, off screen. But yeah, the Abyssal Runes, a great place to rack up money. Because you can just keep going in there and getting all that stuff. And you can get all the plates if you want. Anyway, I think we're going to cut it here. Our business in Undela Town done. We are going to head up north through the next route and continue exploring all these unexplored regions of Unova. So we're going to cut it here. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll be back with more Pokemon Black.